the Essential Mod for Minecraft 1.19.2. In this video, we're going to show you how to download it, how to install it, and then how to use some of its features once we get in-game. As you can see, the Essential Mod is a quality of life mod. It does tons of different stuff to a Minecraft Java Edition. But one cool thing that it does is it allows other friends, your friends that also have the Essential Mod, to be able to join your single-player worlds without having to install anything else or start a server. However, it doesn't allow for things like mods or plugins easily, and that's where a Minecraft server comes in from someone like Apex Minecraft. Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server where in just a few clicks you can add mods, you can add plugins, and with just one click you can install over 200 mod packs. We actually love just Apex so much that we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft hosting. And last but not least, if you have any issues with the mods or plugins or anything that you install on your server, Apex has 24 hours, 7 day a week support to help you out. So if you want to check out Apex again, that's the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your server thanks to them for sponsoring this video nevertheless let's go ahead and get the essential mod downloaded first things first you want to go to the second link in the description down below that's going to take you here and once you are here click on the download button that'll take you to the official download page you can install this with other mods on fabric or forge but we're actually going to be using the installer today because it's the simplest way to do that and that's one of the things that we like to do here the easiest way possible so nevertheless let's go ahead and click on the windows installer here automatically it's going to download in the bottom left of google chrome you may need to keep this in the bottom left of chrome or save it on your screen in Firefox or the center of your screen in Firefox. As long as Essential is in the title, which it is for us, you're good to do that. Now let's just go ahead and minimize our browser. And then I want to move this installer to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this is fully working on Windows 11. Click that, type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here you'll have the Essential mod. Drag this to your desktop and we're basically good to go. It's it's super simple to install Essential from here. It's going to blow your mind. Just double click on the Essential mod. It's going to open up this installer. You can decide whether you want to use an existing or a new profile. I would recommend using a new profile. So let's go ahead and click on that. And then we have the name of the profile, 1.19.2 Fabric Essential. Now you might be asking, what if I want to use Forge? Well, if you want to use Forge, you can come down here and select the Forge mod loader. But at the time I'm recording this video, Essential's Forge is only updated through 1.18.2. So keep that in mind. Should you want the 1.19.2 version, select Fabric. You can also select Multi-MC if you want here, but we're not doing that. We're using the default Minecraft Launcher. So as you can see, 1.19.2 is selected, Fabric, and then we also have the Minecraft Launch selected. Once you've done that, click Create, and automatically it's going to go ahead and install this. As you can see, successfully installed. If you click Launch, it's just going to open up the Minecraft Launcher. So for whatever reason, you close out of that and you didn't click Launch, you just open the Minecraft Launcher. Once the Minecraft Launcher is open, you should have an Essential Profile. So wait a second, there we go. And we do have the 1.19.2 Fabric Essential profile. If you want to go ahead and add, for example, a resolution change or something to that, you can come up to installations at the top. Make sure modded is selected. There's the essential profile. Click edit and you can change your resolution. The main reason I'm doing that, by the way, is so we can see once we get in game. But at this point, all we need to do to play this essentials mod in Minecraft is click play and click play again or again from back here with it selected in this drop down. Click play and click play again. Now Minecraft will open up with the essential mod and it's that simple to get it. Now we can go ahead and check out some of the cool features that essential has in game. So essential is open as you can see right away. There's a lot going on in the background. We've got the update. You can see the change logs. You can also select to not see updates. If we click continue here. We can also go ahead and click continue on this next thing. I'm trying to rush through that because I need to turn down the volume. There we go because it will come back through the mic. So here we are on the main menu. There's so much going on. You can add different Minecraft accounts and actually switch them in game. So if you have multiple accounts like I do, you can easily switch them in game with the essential mod. It's actually one of the reasons I might start running this mod relatively often because I'm constantly needing to switch accounts to test us on servers. In the top right, you can see different things about essentials, developers, licenses, all of that stuff. You can also see the wardrobe in the bottom right agree to this stuff if you do agree to it, which we do, and you can purchase these. Now, this is a way that you can support the Essential Mod. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't purchase any of these, but anyone who has the Essential Mod can see these, and you can change them yourself as well here. From there, we can also see on the right-hand side the social and invite features. This is what I was talking about where you can play on your single-player worlds using this mod. So if you go in here and you add friends and things like that, you can come in here, add your friends, and then invite them to your single-player worlds. So to invite your essential friends, join a single-player world and click invite from the escape menu, right? Which we'll do here in a second. At least I'll show you that. You can pull up pictures, see the different screenshots you've taken directly in Minecraft, and there are essential settings as well. Do you want full essentials? Do you want less of it? Do you want to limit some 
features. There's a streamer mode. So much cool stuff that you can see here. And that's one of the things that I love about Essentials. It's, it's a really cool mod. And I was actually unaware of this until a few weeks ago, and I've been testing it recently. So nevertheless, that is kind of everything you need to know and kind of see. You can easily enable and disable full screen there as well. But let's go ahead and jump into a quick single player world. Now, none of your default single player worlds are going to be here. That's okay. If you want to use an existing world, I'll show you how to do that quickly in a minute, but let's just create a new world. Just want to turn creative on and I'll show you kind of some of the essential features in game. And then we'll talk about adding worlds to this uh, specific installation. So here we are in game. If we hit escape, boom, there's a lot of essential stuff in here as well. You can see the wardrobe is on the right hand side. You can see your skin as well as if you add wardrobe items, you'll be able to see those. But on the right hand side, this is where we're talking about with these social features, right? And so you can come in here and you can add friends in the top right, add a friend, boom, enter in their Minecraft username and then invite them from this menu. When you do invite them, right? Boom, you'll be able to set their game mode and all of that stuff right from here. They'll be in your world and they'll be playing. It's really, really cool, honestly. And one of the coolest things about this mod, it's actually gonna be featured in an upcoming video because it's that cool. And it's a way that you can invite friends to a single player world without having to go through the hassle of creating a server. Super cool, super simple. I will recommend not adding in more than a few friends in here because it can get laggy really fast, but it is still really cool. Before we end this video though, let's go ahead and show you how to access your essentials folder here and kind of where you can add mods and different things to it. So if we hit escape and click this folder, it's gonna open up your Minecraft folder. But if you look at the file structure up here at the top, you'll notice that this is not your typical place where you would find your Minecraft stuff. So if you go into the .minecraft folder that's here, there's this essential mod folder. Open that up, there's fabric, there's 119.2, and then there's 119.2 fabric essential. This is where you can add in things like mods, resource packs, other fabric 119.2 mods can be added here, resource packs, and if you want your other worlds, just copy and paste them into here. So let's say we wanted to go back to our normal Minecraft folder, go into saves, and we wanted the Nixcraft world here. So we're gonna go ahead and right click, copy that, that. Then if we go back to the folder here, this Minecraft folder, open saves, right click paste. It's going to paste that Nixcraft world, move it over here. So now if we save and quit, we can go into single player. There it is, Nixcraft, we can join on in. And now we can invite friends to our existing single player world. It is worth noting that if you decide to play without the essential mod in the future, to get the progress from the world, you will have to copy it back into your normal .minecraft saves folder. That is one of the downsides of using the Essentials installer to install Essential instead of using something else like the, you know, adding it to a fabric installation in your normal Minecraft folder. But as you can see, Essentials is working now in our Minecraft folder. So awesome stuff there. They're not in Minecraft, in Minecraft in this existing world. So nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.